I want to touch on the subject of the importance between driver engineer, engineer driver. It is an important relationship, isn't it? Yeah, I think driver comes first, yeah, before engineer. Dri driver yeah. always yeah. comes first, you know. Oh. Wet race conditions at Sandown, at Bathurst, at the Gold Coast on Saturday. <laughs> and we had supercars, we had water, here we are at Pukekohe, and it's going to be a wild afternoon based on the images that we're seeing, doing a track assessment as to whether or not we start this qualifying session for another armour or pole. More dangerous is uh, some of these game faces over here. I'm actually feeling a bit intimidated looking at it, so I uh, can't wait to get my helmet on and uh, don't have to look at him in the eye because there's some serious faces going on. What are you doing on the screen, my friend? Well, apparently I'm welcoming customers, but wait. I thought uh, if I could just put myself here full time, we won't need the screen. Did that That's screen, a really good idea. Did that screen know it was you standing in front of the screen and then some robot in there figured out it was you? I'm not going to lie, I've been having a conversation. It's a bit awkward talking to yourself <laughs> Super this whole time. Awkward. So I'm glad you guys turned up. The biggest selfie bandit would have to be Mark Winterbottom. Chaz, is, he's always getting in my selfies, so it's not really a selfie if another bloke gets in it, but I do like a selfie. Is that like a answer? You bang the wall? No, I've never done anything quite as cool as this. Uh, I'm a little bit scared of heights like Frosty, but he takes it to a new level on scared. So, uh, hey, Chaz and Frosty here. We're going to take you behind the scenes of ProDrive Racing Australia. Now, in the upcoming weeks, we're going to show you different departments of what happens inside this race team. But today, we're going to show you the boys who work on the car. So let's go. Booyah. Booyah. Here you go. Walk left, turn left. Stop, break, break. <laughs> I always try to imagine what my dream garage would look like, but here at this store, you can actually see a perfect layout. And look at these fellas, what are you doing? Look at this here? professionalism. Would we be in your dream garage and what would we be building in there? That's would the I question. be holding a light blue fishing rod and a pink hose? What I really want to know is what you can do with a 98 Honda Civic hatchback. Oh, so Everything. many things. There's a cliff Everything. for that one kilometer. We can do it all way. in here. So Chase. Mario Kart in three, two, one. Frosty take us through it as they come through the back turn. What's happened? Well, Chaz Mostert in a Ford's clearly got an advantage <laughs> thanks to Garth Tander's comments. But look at Chaz go. What's he like to work with, Adam? He's not too bad. He gets a bit temperamental every now and then, but... Uh, you know, it's uh... So Nat, your first up. Yes, we're going to go slow. We're going to go fast. So we'll just get going before you think about it too much. What do you reckon? But like 60 k's an hour? How fast? Let's say 60. Oh my god, oh my god. All right, ready? No. Let's start with Cameron because this is our second take because Fetus uh, subbed the first one. So Cameron, uh, what am I like to work with for the year and, and what do, you know fascinates you about your job? You're pretty painful. But it's, nah, it's actually pretty good. If you could go on any reality TV show, what would it be? It probably would have been last year on Big Brother, because Tom is not made it <laughs> Inflation? What else can you do here, Taz? Um, you can park your car. Yes. And, and get a baby seat installed. Boom! It, exactly, the results came, but he didn't really go into that question too much there. Even though he says we're still friends, it was like it was like a competitive friendship. So we actually had like a Chaz and Debore Cup going in that year, and who could get more pole positions or more podiums. So uh, yeah, he had to strike first, but um, you know, it's fantastic. Oh, he's just like so wide and hit the fence. Out of all the drivers in pit lane, who would your phone a friend be on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? It wouldn't be you, Dave. Um, that's a good question. Who would yours be? Uh, depends what the question was. If it was about food, I'd bring Dave. If it was about sport, I'd bring you. If it was about video games, I'd bring Chaz. <laughs> Over here, there's this Chaz relaxing. What are you up to, mate? Just taking a load off, to be honest. That and, sounds uh, a bit rude, my friend. Attempting to read. Supercars need to start this session because we're doing our heads in. We make that silly, like, radio day thing, you know? We haven't done anything funny enough for a while to make that. The best thing I had said was, uh, about PD balls to get up and, uh, go go. That made it, so that was it. Do you like ice cream? Oh, I love ice cream. No, that's good. <laughs> Tell you what, the boys at the race team, they'd be pretty, uh, stoked if I knew how to wax my car. Galusius, Galusius. Galusia. Yeah, boys, it's my turn. I've got to work out. Have a go at that. Well, there well, you go. Well, oh, it was your... a bit too big. I don't know about you, Daniel, but if I know Mark Winterbottom, he's not this tall for one. 
and it does look better with a helmet on. <laughs> what are some of the things that we need to do to our cars to make them as fast as you? Oh, well, pretty big list, probably um, a race car driver, helmet, overalls, boots. And if we can't like achieve those things, like um, any kind of sense of talent driving? If you could pick any driver, past or present, as your co-driver at Bathurst, who would it be? Oh, I can have to be Cito, Glenn Seaton. He's a smiling, smiling assassin. He's just a man. He's said it's like a, a second wife. You know, the relationship between the two, except without the kissing and cuddling bit. What? Well, not that's not unless something goes on. But it's a bit like that. It's a bit but um, we also live together. We're actually roomies, which is uh, not many people do that in V8 supercars as a driver and a mechanic. So uh, when I crash a car, you actually don't talk to me for a couple of days. So, uh, but I still got to cook. You cook? No, that's a lie. <laughs> Chaz, remember that time you broke your windscreen out on the racetrack because that magpie did that massive and, it, and you had to get it repaired? Yeah, um, plexiglass. <laughs> Go into the left side there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then we're good to go. Is this going to work, fellas? Uh, it's, it's. He needs. Normally, I've got to do his legs. Seat belts on, boys. Maybe like we could start predicting like where the drivers that haven't signed, where they're going to end up, and that might make radio day. I'll let you get started on that one then, mate. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! We're waiting for some abs. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, my man. <laughs> Which one of your teammates would you call if your car broke down? Think about this, mate. Definitely wouldn't be the two in the front, and I don't think they've ever put a hand on a car, so I'll probably have to call you Jacko, I reckon. I've got a set of jumper leads in my car, mate. Thanks, mate. I need all the help I can get. He's away. His engine has stopped. He's actually pushing it like it's a skateboard, and he's still beating Brendan. Brendan comes around the last turn. He's so competitive. Frosty. You were amazing. I saw the bag on fly like this. The beetle was in my face. I reckon I had bacon and pickles. It was all going on. And I was trying to put it in the van, but you did like this, and the fire, and the water, and OMG. Get in front, and it's oh, Brendan. Barbecue, Brendan. <laughs> Barbecue, Brendan. Has He's beaten Chaz Mustard. What a thrill. Oh, Chaz Mustard <laughs> stopped to get something out of the Esky to have a drink. And no. he's pushed it across the line. Oh, he's given it a kick. <laughs> 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I could be any animal. I would choose to be probably a mosquito. Because the last name's lost it. My name Mozzie. And I think I'd be a pretty annoying person like I am. And a little mosquito's quite annoying. And, and that's when you need to chirp up on the radio and say, hey, you know, don't worry about this. We're not actually worried about this guy. You know, we need to worry about this guy. And if that all comes with experience. Like, it's taken us, you know, years to develop that kind of relationship where I can see a potential hazard and try to pre-warn Chaz of that, so. There's normally three a lap, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers. There's nothing I like better than sitting out here and just enjoying the Penrith landscape. It's perfect, but what I really want to tell you is, why can't when you can glamp? I mean, this is glamping, isn't it? I mean, all you need is a Honda Civic, easy for you to say, but all you need is a Honda Civic and a wine glass. It's all class. You guys could possibly get hitched. Oh. And, and I know I'm being a bit of a creep. <laughs> oh no, but I think it's really important that we illuminate uh, some of the things um, because you are the linchpin of, but sometimes there's shackles on you. Um, but the reflections in your eyes are nice I, so much I can't even bearing it. I don't know what these are for. <laughs> Get him a microphone. Barbecue. No, no one saw me cut that corner Barbecue. today. <laughs> Chaz Mossett. Chaz Mossett, what happened to your esky? Um, yeah, I think there was a, maybe a rock in the car, but you're not sure. Could have picked something up around the back there. The engine didn't start. Garth Tanders yeah. got to it before the race. <laughs> Number one rule for a driver is always make an excuse. So yeah, it wasn't, so it, it wasn't, wasn't you. It wasn't, it wasn't the me. driver. It was the vehicle. It was the vehicle. Hey guys, Chaz Mostert here from the Pessy Max crew. Now we're going to go check out a machine called Anajet, and it's. Uh, 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 I went to say direct to Garmin. I went to direct to Garmin. Direct to Garmin. So you're going to keep him? 
keep him around? Oh, look, he's asking for a bit too much money at the moment, but, you know, we'll, uh, I, think, I think I couldn't do this without him. So, I'm, yeah, for, for as long as I can do it and he, he's willing to do it, I want to do it as well. So, as you can see, we're still in a session delay here at the moment, which allows the drivers to play while the work is done outside to try and get the track back in shape. <laughs> We're now looking over your shoulder at your game. So if you could peel the screen to the left a little bit, they can see. Okay, more to the left. That's it. That's better. Okay, buddy, four minutes. Four minutes to the start of the session. Cannot. Cannot. I'm in the battle. Cannot. Can do. Can do. No, cannot. No, no, no. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.